Good morning, party people. Guess what? Yep, it's cold. I don't think it's even 32 degrees yet. Let me check real quick. Yep, it's 33 degrees. However, it is too cold to do what I need to do. I need to find a heater, some kind of heater. I got a garage area, but man, it's cold in that garage area, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I need to be doing something to this engine I need to put in this car in Chicago. But the temperature's too low to do the cam cover. So I'm either going to pack it up, take it up there and do it, or go buy a heater today. Kind of sucks. Snow yesterday, we barely missed snow getting that hit the east coast however it did snow there's a few things i want to tell the i guess new subscribers number one if you go to the channel there's an intro video that intro video tells you how to find other videos man watch the videos i get calls every day of people that do not search the channel to figure out how to do things before they dig in then they dig into something, they just about destroy the car, and then they contact me. Ah, man, contacting me after you've done the damage or, or hanging over a barrel is probably not a good thing. You want to check out what to do before you dig in. That's just the best thing to do, man. I try to put a video up for everything. Please check out the videos. Another thing. If you have questions that I do not have a video for, please leave your question here. Sign into YouTube, leave a comment, question, so that I can make a brief video for it. Hopefully it'll be a brief video, you know, one of my quick tips, and get you through the question you have. Man, if it's something I could post a video for in five minutes, I'll make the video in five minutes and post it. I'm about to make one right after I do this and post it today so you guys can know my opinion on flushing your engine if you think you got engine sludge. What I want to do to help you guys, number three, if you are a Patreon member, I appreciate your support. I do apologize. I do not make a lot of Patreon things exclusive. However, I have a couple videos I'm planning on making and if you go to Patreon and you scan down the channel you can find videos that are specifically for Patreon members. I'm going to put the keyword in them. Patreon. They also have a thumbnail of Queen B. Those are videos that are exclusive for Patreon. You don't have to pay to be a Patreon member. However, if you want to to support me, I appreciate it. I really do. So that's that if you have ordered something from me a used part something from the junkyard a tool or something and you do not have shipping notification please notify me there is a chance that i have lost your contact information because when you paid through paypal you didn't leave your shipping information and you may not have left me a note telling me what the payment was for I get people send me donations from time to time and often can't tell the difference from a donation or somebody that I'm supposed to be sending a part to. Sorry about that. I get calls, contacts, text messages, emails, Facebook messages. All this stuff, man, comes in like a wave daily. It's pushed down. I do not make enough through patreon and youtube and stuff like that to hire anybody to manage this so this stuff is managed exclusively by me who has got a lot going on so remind me don't feel bad call me text me send me a message on youtube send me a message on my gmail email account just let me know hey robert don't forget that i ordered this and you need to send it to me man i I, I want to send that to you. I really do. I got three or four parts in the car. I know I got them from somebody. I don't know who I'm supposed to be sending them to. Lost your address. Can't find this message string. Whatever. Please remind me. If you have purchased a Volvo recently, you are one of the new daily viewers. Please do a search 
new Volvo owner. Go to my channel, search new Volvo owner, uh, post purchase, stuff like that, and watch those two or three videos specifically designed to help you survive your Volvo ownership. They're not anything to stress you out. They are to help you protect your new investment, whether that investment was $50, $12, $500, or $5,000. Man, watch those videos, especially if you have these P80 cars built from 92 to 2000. Good videos, I promise you. So, hope you enjoyed today's video, short and sweet. Let's get started. Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert. That's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Trying to get out and about. Man, I don't know if I've ever seen snowflakes this big. These things are big as snowballs. Man, you can taste them when you catch them with your tongue, too. Hey, God, can you flavor these things strawberry? With some strawberry snowflake. Mmm, man. These flakes are huge. Kicking off the day with Panther. Contacted my tuner, Vast. They told me to install that wastegate actuator. Just send it. It'll be okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and install that. They also sent me a fresh tune for that thing. I'm going to install that tune. Then I'm going to take the car for a drive, do a pull, send for a tune update. So, Panther could be running better, hopefully, with the fresh turbo and the newer wastegate actuator. Last night, I replaced the turbo. Didn't get into it too much. Actually, it wasn't last night. It was the night before. Yesterday, it was snowing all day, so it was too cold and snowing to do anything, so I didn't do anything yesterday. However, I'm about to install this fresh wastegate actuator from Forge. I'm going to pull the intake Reach down over there, pull the old wastegate actuator off, install the new wastegate actuator, adjust it, and go ahead and button it up. I talked to my tuner, told him my concerns about the preload pressure, not opening that thing until 7 PSI. He told me, don't be concerned about that, just install it properly, preload that thing two turns, and go from there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to preload it two turns and go from there. Get that thing installed. There it is, folks. The fresh wastegate actuator from Forge installed on my fresh turbo. We are going to sing and dance now, folks. Woohoo! See how Panther runs. You know, I was pretty much satisfied with the performance mods and upgrades that I had on it. However, I got into a situation or an opportunity to upgrade the turbo because we got this turbo for somebody. They didn't want to use it. They didn't want to do all the other supported mods. So I decided to go ahead and purchase that turbo from them and sold the turbo that was on Panther. Probably the final upgrade other than the intercooler and intake pipe I'm gonna do on Panther for the performance mod. Before I put that new turbo on, with that new wastegate actuator, I was having somewhat of a hard time stopping the wheels from spinning when I was aggressively accelerating with the setup I had. So I, I imagine this is just gonna make it harder. I might have to Pull the transmission one day and install the LSD, one of the fake ones or one of the real ones. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to try to do a pull, let you guys know the difference in the turbo. Uh, once I drive around a little bit with it and go from there. Here we are, folks, in the Red Baron, flashing the new tune. Do, 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 do. Oh, need some light on it now. 
Is that light still flashing? Nope, not nah, while it's... Once you started flashing it, it okay. cut off. Well, we should be done soon. See if that helps us. Flashing completed. We're going to go under the hood and hook everything back up. Take it, see if we could do a data pull. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.